Hello and welcome to Refuse. I wasn't going to do a video about this because I don't like to get involved in uh, internet drama. I, I'm a, I'm, I'm a freaking adult, okay? I don't find any of that um, amusing or appealing. It's, it's just not my thing. So I kind of went back and forth for the past couple of days on if I even wanted to talk about this, but I feel... I feel like I have to. You see, a couple days ago, Mundane Matt was on the kill stream um, with uh, uh, Keemstar and uh, The Quartering. Uh, who else? He was on with a bunch of people. And uh, uh, Mr. Medicare, I believe, was on there. And basically, long story short, he got busted for false flagging people. I'll put a screenshot here of just what he showed. Um, during the kill stream, it was asked of him to share his screen to show how many people, he, how many videos he's flagged. And it took him like 10 minutes before he finally uh, shared his screen. And in that time, people were accusing him of, you know, trying to delete as many flags as possible. And when they finally... Uh, got him to do it. He put the screen up and yeah, he had a lot of videos that he flagged because they were critical of him Let me let me take it back a little bit I feel like I need to give some story behind why I felt the need to do this video um, It was about if memory serves four years ago this month that I was at work one day and during some downtime, I don't know, maybe I was doing some drive recovery, uh, something I had a few minutes to kill. Um, I went to probably Kotaku and happened to notice an article about gamers are dead. And I thought that was really weird that a website focused on gamers would turn against their audience and call and call for them to you know, die basically that they need to you know get rid of gamers from the industry i didn't really pay much attention to the whole indie scene at the time and i think i might have been vaguely aware of zoe quinn and depression quest and all that that led to what would later become gamergate so i was struck by surprise so i went over to another website um maybe Destructoid, maybe Polygon, and saw a very similar article on the same day. And so I was like, huh, what is going on? So later on that day when I went home, I was checking out the chans and found that any threads that were about the subject were being deleted by mods. And it was the case on a lot of different gaming websites. Um, any discussion of what was going on was killed. So that turned me on to other avenues. And one of the first YouTube channels I sub subscribed to was Mundane Matt. Because he was one of the only people at the time that I found uh, that was talking about it. And explaining uh, the whole story. And yeah, there were other ones. Uh, I think Mr. Medicure had his videos at the time, and there were a few YouTube videos that were starting, some YouTube content creators that were making videos because no other website would let you talk about what was going on. If you weren't around in the early days of Gamergate, uh, it was really, <laughs> really a lot of misinformation going on, if any information got out. And so Monday Matt was one of the first people I found that was talking about what was going on before it even had a name and so i subscribed to him and i uh i've been subscribed ever since while i don't like all his videos i don't watch all his videos um but i do you know like some of his content you know when he covers odd stories that don't get a lot of attention i find that he tends to you know you watch like the first 10 minutes and after that you know he kind of starts repeating himself um but he was even an inspiration for me when I started my channel. Granted, my channel is minuscule. I know that. And Matt will never even see this. Um, he might just get a Google alert so that he can uh, flag it down the line. But that's what brings me to this. Matt, if you hear this, I have lost a lot of respect for you. I have lost an incredible amount of respect for you. 
Now, it's okay to be upset by criticism, and I don't want to hear these excuses that you were in a bad place. Yeah, a lot of people end up in bad places. That is not an excuse. What you did is exactly what people on, quote-unquote, the other side, the SJWs, this is their tactics that you were using. You were trying to deplatform people because they were critical of you. Not everyone is going to agree with you. And this, this is shameful, Matt. You got busted. And I've lost all my respect for you. And I'm, I'm done. I am done with you because I can't believe anything you say now because you're starting to use the tactics of the SJWs that you started out that got you popular, that got you big. You're pulling the exact same things that, like, Zoe Quinn or, or Brianna Wu would do. You are acting the same as Brianna Wu. Think about that. Now, I've looked at your stats. There is an exodus on your channel, uh, from your channel, according to Social Blade, and I don't blame them. All respect I had is gone. So I'm just going to I'm just going to end my video with this. I did not even want to talk about this, but I felt I had to get this off my chest. So this is all I have to say on the subject.